It's been about one day after Edeled tried to kill Will's me. I don't fully understand yet, but I don't want to return it back to the thrift store because I feel that maybe Edeled and I could talk it out. I went to school in silence, and I even saw Will, but he just looked at me and looked away. It was obvious that he was just as shaken up as I was. We got to our homeroom and Mr. Brenner walked in. Alright class, I hope you all studied. Today is the chapter 4 science test. Mr. Brenner called out. The science chapter 4 test? I didn't study. In fact, I forgot about it all weekend. And if all the events that happened yesterday didn't take place, I probably would have remembered it and studied for a while. And to make matters worse, Mr. Brenner's tests can be hard. It asks you for exact details and everything that was in the study guide. As Mr. Brenner handed out the tests, I slouched back in my desk, knowing that I would fail. And then he came to my desk. Sam, did you study? I replied with a faint no. Well, today I'll give you an adapted version, just this once. Make sure you study next time. There's one or two kids in my class who have some minor learning difficulties. So every time we have a test, Mr. Brenner makes some adapted versions for them. And the only reason he's giving me an adapted version is because my grades have been slipping a bit. The test was still a little tricky, but I think I've done much better than I would have done on a regular version. The day went by normally after that. I saw Will a couple times, and we even made eye contact. But we didn't say a word to each other. When I got home, I sat in front of my Wii. Should I talk to Edeled? Should I throw out this Wii? Those questions are still filling my mind. No. He has a soul. He is living, I said to myself. I decided to just talk it out with Edeled. I turned on my Wii and grabbed the Wii remote. I got to the Me channel and saw Edeled. Just standing there. Edeled, can I talk to you about something? I asked. What is it? Why did you get so mad? Sure, you don't like being deleted, but why did you react that way? Because that's the only way I can react. I, I previously lived a life, a real life, but my childhood was full of abuse and violence. I took a few seconds before responding. Edeled lived an actual life before? He was a human being at one time? I asked him to be more specific, but I didn't want to force anything out of him. All I can say is that my childhood was very rough. I was bullied, I was abused, and I was different. How was he different? Who abused him? Why was his life so traumatic to him? I'm sorry about what happened to you, Edeled. I hope you're feeling okay now, I said. I feel okay mentally, but not physically. There was a long pause. Growing up as a person, I was punished for not being normal. My father was mean, while my mother was nice. I didn't even ask him anything, but what I heard shocked me. Edeled previously lived a real life but not a good one? His father was mean, but his mother was nice? Was Edeled a victim of child abuse? My mother always loved me, but she was always sad. At this point, I felt really bad for Edeled, not only in his past life, but his life right now. He said earlier, he feels okay mentally, but not physically. I'm really sorry about your past life, Edeled. I wish there was a way I could help, I said as I looked down. It was not a past life. I'm still who I was before. 
I looked up at the TV, confused. I worked for the company who made the Wii, Nintendo. I died, but I still lived on in this Wii. I stood up. Adelaide is an actual person whose spirit possesses this Wii? It didn't make any sense. I didn't understand. I didn't want to ask any more questions, so I decided to exit the Mii channel. I got back to the Wii menu and noticed I received a new message on the Wii message board. I went there and found an envelope. I clicked on it, and the letter read this. Sam, I trust you, okay? You're the first person I was ever able to trust in a long time. But please, don't let anyone delete me. You do not know how painful it is. And when I get deleted, I get violent. Sincerely, Edelon. I put the Wii Remote down. I sat on my bed and didn't do anything. This was so much to take in. Edelon was human? It didn't make any sense. I decided to get something to drink. I left my room and walked to my kitchen. I swung open the fridge and grabbed a Pepsi. I opened it as I walked back to my room. I'll just play some Wii Sports with Edeled, I thought. Maybe some tennis will get him in a better mood, I said to myself. Tennis is my second favorite sport of all time, and since I was on Wii Sports, I decided to play it. I opened up Wii Sports and clicked on Tennis. I chose to play as Edeled and the game started. I flung my Wii Remote upward and swung it, hitting the ball. Edelette was very powerful. I didn't even use that much effort in my swing, but Edelette hit the ball so hard that it sped toward the other team, and the other team was able to hit it back normally. In fact, the entire game worked normally, but every time I served, Edelette would hit the ball so hard that the ball went as fast as the game allowed it to, even when I didn't put any effort into my swing. I won that tennis match and decided to play some baseball. I started it up and the game began. Edeled was the first who was up to bat. The pitcher threw the ball and I hit it. Edeled hit the ball hard and it went flying into the pitcher's face. From what I could guess, the game's programming thought that the pitcher caught it, thus it was out. And because of this, another meme was supposed to be the batter this time. but. Edelard was there again, ready to swing the bat and get a home run. I decided to try again. The pitcher threw the ball, and I swung the Wii Remote. The ball went flying out of the stadium. Thus, it was out of the park. Edelard ran to each base, and when he passed all of them, our team got a point. I was starting to get bored after a while. Edelard would keep getting home run after home run. It wasn't fun. There was no challenge, so I quit the game. I decided to play bowling next. Bowling was another favorite sport of mine, and I liked to go to the local bowling alley with a few friends that I had. But this was when things got out of hand. I chose Edelette as my player, and on the first three throws, I got strikes. I was a relatively good bowler, so I didn't think it was too weird but the next three throws after that were strikes too. Maybe Edelard is better at bowling than me, I said with a slight chuckle. I held the Wii Remote behind me and pressed and held the B button, and swung forward. Edelard didn't move. I tried again, and he still didn't move. I noticed that Edelard was looking the other way. He seemed to be watching a CPU me playing on the lane next to him. Kyle. Edelard said quietly. Kyle? Was this the same Kyle that Edelard told me about? Before I could do anything, Edelard slowly raised a bowling ball over his head, and he threw it towards Kyle's head. Kyle was knocked out. He fell as a massive red mark was made visible where the bowling ball hit his head. The game seemed to detect this as a strike, because the strike splash screen came up. And then the replay triggered. But in the replay, the pins didn't fall down. 
All you could hear was the screams and gasps of all the other me's in the bowling alley. When the replay was finished, the camera cut back to Edeled, who had his back facing the camera. He was looking at all the other me's staring at him. They all had shocked expressions. Damn it. Edeled said quietly as he ran off to the exit. The camera was following Edeled the entire time. As Edeled burst out the door, I noticed that all the area surrounding the bowling alley was just pitch black. I saw Edeled forming a brick path to walk on. He walked for a while in this blank space. I saw nothing but him and the path. And then the camera started to jitter a bit. Sam, if the camera is jittering, it's because of the game's programming. The camera is not supposed to be here, so the game was trying to take it back to the bowling alley. And you're not letting it? I asked. Yes. Edeled responded. Edeled, what happened back there? I asked. Edeled then stopped. He sat on the ground and faced me. <sighs> Sam, remember how I told you about Kyle? Well, that was his me. I honestly have no idea why he came back. I deleted him ten years ago. What? I thought deleting a me causes them pain. Why are you causing other me's pain if you don't want pain? I yelled. I deleted him because he deleted me. I was never good at resolving situations in a lighthearted matter. He caused me pain, so I had to cause him pain. I'm sorry. Well, where do the me's even go when they get deleted? I asked. Edeled sighed. Are you sure you want to know? Yes, I replied. Okay then, but you need to delete me first. Once you're done with that, go to the Wii message board. You will see a blank envelope. Click it and then click on the video. Edelette instructed. I went to the Me channel after that, and I deleted him. But before I confirmed that I wanted to delete him, I spoke out. I'm sorry. I said. It's fine, Sam. You want to know after all. I took a deep breath as I inched the cursor over to the yes button. And then, I pressed A.